Hello everyone, this is Hachiri, and we're back in FDB Interactions. Now, I'm sure you may have noticed that uh, I have my grid on, and we're in the void world. There, there's our little void island over there, and um, what I was thinking of is, you know, why not start out doing something kind of fun, kind of fun. And that's getting our um, antimatter sorted because um, we're out. <laughs> so, just like that. And this will slowly lag its way to 100% antimatter creation. We look like we're good. So we can put that away now. Now this should be more than enough antimatter for us for pretty much the rest of the playthrough. Um, but in case it isn't, um, filter is empty. We might need to use the builder. All right, all right, let's uh, put this away because any block that touches it is just going to go boop, and uh, that's going to be that. So then what we'll end up doing is uh, something completely different. Uh, you have a builder. Um... Do I have a fluid card? Clearing pump. Yes, I do. So, I think we're going to use a clearing pump. Um, I will need to get an alternate power source for this going. That's fine. In fact... Uh, yeah, we have just enough to make one. So we'll do that now. And uh, what I'm going to do is I've never actually done this. So this works like that. All right. Okay, um, we want a solid box, is this XYZ, so if I say offset of 5 here, what happens? It moves it up on, okay. So then if I go negative five, Let's take a look here. It's going all the way up.
So I'm not seeing the preview, but I'm guessing it's down there. Why are these uh, not going away? All right. Well, we want 16 by 16. Although this is actually 14 by 14, if I'm taking a look at this. Where does it start? All right, that puts me in the box now at negative 10. Well, that time it removed the uh, preview. It did it before. That's interesting. All right. Um, so 17 by 17 by 150 I don't know if I want it going all the way to the top though I just want it covering the bottom but I guess this is going to be the center so if I'm doing 150 Then if I do 76 here, and I preview, yeah, that puts the top right there. All right, that looks like the dimensions I want. Coolio. And we will pop that with a diamond right there. And check on our flux. And uh, I'm pretty sure. That the moment this has power. And I hit this to start. It should be filling immediately. Now, if I go to the base, I take 
take a look at this. We are pumping into the system. If I go into here, there we are, pulling our buckets in as quickly as possible. Excellent. So that will get us plenty of any matter. In fact, we may never have to get antimatter again, ever. Empty our reservoir while I'm at it. So part of why I'm doing this is so I can make flux. Um, I'm gonna set up a recipe for it. The other thing is I want to start looking into getting our neutrons. Because I know we're going to need a lot of them. Which means we're going to have to complete a couple of quests to do this. Specifically, I'm going to have to make this thing. Now, I got crystal assemblies. I actually can make this thing. We can actually do this. Um, I'm pretty sure I have glitching gets too. I have exactly 16 glitching gets. And um, yeah, we're gonna need to get ourselves the nether drag, or not nether, but well, actually, end dragon, yeah, end dragon. Data module, so we can start printing out dragon eggs, spawn ender chickens. Um, the other thing we got to do is get this system going. Now, I currently have all of these like running on a fuel system. Um, here soon, these are all going to be taken off of a fuel system and put on CEFs. I'm also going to replace the gold cable with a signalum cable. And we're, we're going to pare down this stuff. Um, now this system here, it's still running. I'm probably going to rip this particular one out. But the goal is to get it to where we're... Um, we're paring some of these down and updating it to the new system. And the reason I'm paring it down and updating it is we're going to be switching from this here soon, going from infused to um, to the um, knack fuel. And once I do that, I'm thinking we're just going to go pure wireless on our energy. We're already mostly wireless. Uh, so it's not going to be that much of a change and switching to pure wireless is going to make things so much easier for us. So much easier for us. Yep. So, flux. <laughs> um, how is this made? Let's take a look. It is a single bucket and all of these things. A mixer. So I think really what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get the... Um, 
the flux crystal is automated, which is a mana diamond. And a bunch of destabilized redstone. Twelve ninety six. I'm pretty sure that is nine. So not so a block of redstone and a mana diamond. Mana diamonds we can now use unstable mana to do. Two fifty unstable mana makes a mana diamond, um, and we're probably actually going to do that. Let me see here. Flask. Uh, I do have some two fifties. I mean, I could also set up like a dropper system with a precision dropper and a mana pool, but then I'd have to use exquisite diamonds or flawless diamonds. Um, I don't have a whole lot of those right now. We do have plenty of mana diamonds. This isn't going to be like a end of the world thing. And I might still set up an exquisite diamond system for this. But we have automated the um, unstable mana. So we might as well use it. Like right now I keep it to about a, um, a thousand buckets and that is mostly because of the fact that I don't want to run out of redstone just randomly. That's made in an assembler, so let's get that put in there. Um, actually, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I believe this is the assembler that I have set up for random stuff. We are capped out on channels here though um So this one's capped. We may have to set up another assembler soon. Good to know. In fact, actually, I, I'm 99% certain we're going to have to set up another assembler. But we do that another day. All right, so this is chemical bath. And um, we're just going to go ahead and make the nine. So that makes a flux crystal. And the last part 
of our happy fun experiment for this. JK there. Do I not have any 1K ones? Did I never make 1K? I never made 1,000. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I don't mind setting this up to be batches of 32. Which is probably going to be for the best, more I think about it. I don't have a recipe for making platinum dust. So I will have to make that recipe too. That is good to know. I love the fact that it's already at like 29,000. That might be uh, its cap actually. We might be done. And we'll go make our flux. Um, we'll go to the mixer I have over here. I'm pretty sure it's a IV mixer. So, uh, it should pretty much do everything. All right, so there's our flux recipe. We'll do it in batches of 32. And then, uh, I just want the ingot recipe, thank you. We'll set that up for a pulverization. So that deals with our flux problem. We should now be able to automatically make flux. Uh, Mace Rider is not on this chain. And it's almost full. All right, that sorts that problem. Let's uh, head back to the base and uh, check out our thing. Okay, so we still got a good, it looks like 10 blocks or more there. So 
So. Clone seven O. And um, half of this is what? Eighty-five. It's going to go through all of it real quick. I'm actually really surprised it turned the demo stuff into this. Although maybe I'm wasting my time smashing this and this will disappear once I break the, the block or log off. I'm just doing this on the off chance that for some reason it does not. All right, I think we have successfully pumped it all now. So we're just gonna break these. One of these is gonna start a chain reaction. I don't know which one. But we'll deal with that later. For now, let's collect our pump. Since this is obviously finished. And uh, I'll clean all of this uh, antimatter stuff up later. But, uh... If I break that, the whole chain should come down. Oh yeah, there it goes. So I'll fix that.
Okay, so we got that sorted. Let's uh, pull this out as well. Throw that in there. Cool. So looking at this, we have about 30,000 buckets of antimatter that should hold us for a while. I am happy with that. Now, Onwards to creating our creative data module. Now let's see, we need a pristine blaze, a pristine thermal, and a pristine enderman. I believe we have all that. Uh, there's the enderman. Cast wither blaze. Looks like thermal's the only one we're missing. But are we actually missing it? Blaze data. I'm gonna actually pull all of these out. Because we will be um, using this particular data module. And, huh. At e. I'm not seeing my thermal, my thermal data module. Ah, there it is along with our pristine thermal matter that we uh, required. Excellent. All right. Now, we know we need to glitch ingots. Um, which one are you? You are the one with stuff in it. So we are going to put you away. So we have a deep learning. We need a crystal assembly, which we have. And what else do we need for this? Some dark matter, which I don't have on me. How are you made? Two buckets of primal mana, four vandium ingots, and an empowered void crystal. Okay, so I have a void crystal. Um, let's go to dark matter here. Dark matter. How are you empowered? Let's find out. A mana pearl, a flawless coal. I have flawed coal. I don't have flawless coal. I do, however, have coal ore. Turn this off for a second because we're going to multiply this coal ore. I hope. Can you not multiply coal? Dense coal. Nope. All right. New plan. Something's not right. It's Minecraft coal. Nope. 
That's a problem. All right. Um, I need to get Greg Tickle. <laughs> You're not worth anything to me. All right, let's see what we got here. Rectacle. Do you multiply? You do not. And that is fine. Because you pulverize. And we'll just let the sifting machine get us our flawless coal. We got an exquisite coal. That'll work. Actually, I think it might be exquisite coal we need. Let's say void. Oh, no, it's just flawless. Well, let's split this into a couple of flawless. All right, now we need monopearl. We have one, and that's fine. Okie dokie, let's uh, turn off our magnet. Go make ourselves a void thing. So we got our Empower Crystal. I should have Primal Mana just laying around somewhere. Because I'm pretty sure we had some leftover. Yeah, that's what I thought. I got two buckets of it right there. Alright, so there's our two buckets of primal. So we just need four vandium or vanadium. I'll probably make a recipe for this later, but I don't have a recipe for the primal mana right now either. So it's like, eh. Uh, we'll use this one. This one shouldn't be used for anything right now. Uh, 
And then here soon I will spit out a beautiful, beautiful dark matter. Now, where in, there it is. So this is all done in an IV assembler. We just so happen to have one right here. Um, what am I missing? Ah, how can I forget the tetraflora polytet? All right. How can I forget the Teflon? I mean, it's crack tech. Everything requires Teflon. We have it. Now let's update models inside of Deep Lead Learner. Shift right click increases tier. Control right click simulates kills. All right. So if I take out my other Deep Learner that I have here, and uh, well, let's see. This one is self aware, superior, basic, superior. Okay. Yes, maybe you just hold this. Creeper is advanced, okay. And they're all self-aware now, nice. All right, and we should have a reward for completing this, which is our dragon module. which is now self-aware. Awesome. We will put you in there, grab you. I'm starting to believe that this spectacle is no longer gonna support our mob grinding needs. In fact, we should actually make a whole bunch of these later and make just a mob room with it. Eh. Alright. Um. So I do have this one. And I'm going to just plop it right there. We will grab this and this out of here. And we're gonna put that to work. That way we know. Oh, it didn't save it. Deep mob. All right. And the 
put that in there. And you're now self-aware as well. Not even gonna keep those on me anymore. No reason. Cool. So this is gonna get us the dragon matter. And what we're gonna take that pristine dragon matter and do with it is we're gonna be making dragon eggs. Now it does take a lot of experience, specifically eight buckets of XP. So we gotta stop being lazy and finally deal with our XP issues. With that in mind, we have two four amp CEF, two uh, CEFs here that are four amp. We're gonna actually make another 16 HV. Get that going. Is this all nitro? Those are empty. These two are 64 buckets of nitro. Okay. Chemical reactor needs to be at least IV. Which I happen to have already programmed. It says I can't make it though. Because the recipe wants a quantum assembly. Well, since I already know I'm going to need to make it. This has to be my biggest gripe with these machines is that um, quantum assembly and uh, crystal processor are not ordered. This is where I think it is. It has since been removed.
This one might be removed too. I'm gonna verify. Uh, yes. Just taking a minute to kind of clean these up. Okay. So you three are all right here. I guess there is one down there, isn't there? Where are you? You are okay. Actually, we can just sort this out right now. you away you were the one that was right there we're gonna clear you just do a little bit of cleanup Because when this is done, you know what, I'm just going to use this as a uh, spacer here. this workshop there we go got that sorted up now we did a creative data module we did the uh, the other thing uh, let's just throw you in there What else should we do today? Maybe we should wrap it up. Um, I will focus on getting this system or the parts for it set up. And uh, we'll, we'll just end things here. We, we got some stuff still processing and I'm gonna continue cleaning up the network, making it all wireless now that we have the antimatter to do so. 
And um, we're going to move forward with that. And when we come back, I will um, probably focus on getting this lattice stuff done so we can automate that instead of having to constantly make them manually. And we'll have our experience farm automated at that point. And then uh, maybe build some stuff to deal with uh, automating creating things like the uh, dragon eggs and such um, and I think I'm going to do some building today like I'll do a stream and we'll do some building today because I want to uh, finish the walls around here and I want to get some towers set up to deal with things like starlight um, because we do have this down here and this is fine but we really need to switch this to primordial pearls and get the uh, additional collector crystals and stuff made. So we'll stream that tonight. That, that will probably be our project on that tonight. But with this, um, uh, for the live stream anyway. And, um, but for this, we'll, we'll finish things up here and uh, we'll come back and continue working towards, uh, well, actually, you know what? Heck with it. Uh, where is the chem reactor? Let's just YOLO it. I'm also gonna need. What else am I going to need? What else am I going to need? I'm going to need um, a tank of some sort. Should we just go with a black hole tank for it? One of the patterns <laughs> requires quantums. All right. Um, those are crystals. Okay. I'm telling you, the, the quantum thing is going to... It's going to drive me insane. need one for the pattern which we'll have here shortly all right so there should be one in there Yes, make my black hole tank. All right.
So we already have a basic quantum tank here storing the next stuff. What I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is we're going to set up an alternate fuel point using the center conduit. And I'm going to set up the uh, CEF here or a CEU that I'm going to convert to a CEF. I mean, I made a 16 amp. We're not going to be using that much. Oh, you would go there. I should... be able there we go our chem reactor is ready So, gonna need an exporter. This is fluid exporter. I want normal exporter. I'm gonna want I think the other stuff will all be over here. So, so now I'll start filling this up with those. This. We'll start filling up from here. Taking a look, you're right there, good to know. Because I'm probably gonna switch this one. And the piece de resistance. And we have our knack fuel being created right now in this system. It's not going to go anywhere because I haven't set that up, but it's being made, and that's all that matters.
And what I'll probably do is I'll set this up to send it to another tank matrix like that. And, uh, but we're going to pare this down because I want a lot of it on standby. And this, this is going to burn through. It's going to burn through some nitro. But we got our Naquadric fuel. Um, where am I going to put it, though? Where am I going to put it? Um, 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 um. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. I currently don't want to go above that. So so We'll set this up like that. And then uh, I'll just have the, uh, the little star matrix like so that I currently got going. And we are basically going to phase out everything and make it uh, NAC fuel. That's going to be my goal, is get everything switched to NAC. NAC or bust. I currently have this turned off. I will turn it on once I get things set up. But for right now, we'll call it there. And uh, I think the other thing I'm gonna do is this system right here, I'm gonna replace. And I'm gonna get the stuff built. I'm gonna probably make, now that I'm at it, I'll go ahead and get the ZPM generator built. And, uh, that's what we'll go to. We'll, we'll just replace it with a single ZPM generator and hook that up into our power system. And with that, I think we hit a good stop point. You guys have a wonderful day, and we will catch you later.